So guys, for the first method, you wanna head over to search and type in device manager. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you wanna click on your computer name one time. Now you wanna click on view and then click on show hidden devices. Now you wanna make sure your computer name is still selected and then click on action and then click on scan hardware changes. See if that works for you. If that's still not working for the second method, you wanna head over to search and type in services. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you wanna scroll down till you find the Bluetooth support service. You wanna double click on it. Make the startup type automatic and then click on start, which will then make the service status running and then click on OK. If you got to this stage and it was already automatic and it was already running, then you want to right click on it and then click on restart. For the next method, you want to head over to search and type in device manager, click on it. And then once you're on this, you want to click on your computer name one time. Now you want to click on action and then click on add legacy hardware. Now you want to click on next. And now you want to select the first option, search for and install the hardware automatically, select this and then click on next. If nothing came up, you want to click on next again. Now you want to scroll down to find network adapters. Here it is, you want to click on this and then click on next. Wait for this to load. Now once this loads up, you want to select the first manufacturer on the list. For me it's going to be Broadcom. I'm going to select this. You want to look for what's going to be on the screen right now. If you see that or anything similar to that, you want to select it. So let's go down the list. I don't see any Bluetooth here. Let's go to Intel Manufacturer. I don't see any Bluetooth here. Same for this one. I don't see any Bluetooth here. So you just want to go through all the manufacturers that you have right here. Go down the models and then see if you have Bluetooth. If you do, then you want to click on it, click on next, and then you want to install that. And now for the next method, I'm going to be leaving a link down below in the description to this website. And then once you're here, make sure you're on the latest version. You want to scroll down and then click on download and then click on I accept. It should now start downloading automatically. If it does not, then you wanna click here, which will then start downloading it for you. And now that's been downloaded, we're gonna click on it. And then click on yes. And then click on next. Wait for this to load. And then click on next. And then click on I accept. And then click on next. Let's just go with the typical one. And then click on install. Wait for this to load. Ignore this on my screen is because I'm running a virtual machine, but in your case it should let you download it and then click on finish once you complete all of that. See if that works for you. And then once you do that, you just want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed. If that's still not working for the last method, you want to head over to search and type in troubleshoot settings, click on it. And then once you're on this, you want to click on other troubleshooters and then you want to scroll down, you want to find Bluetooth and then click on run. Wait for this to load. And now once you're on this, you want to click on yes. It's now going to run some scans for you. You just want to go through all these steps that will come up. So you're going to click on continue. Go through all these steps and then hopefully this will fix your problem.